Good morning, and thanks for joining me. My name is Mark, this is Spagat for Backpacking, and today I'm out here to talk with you guys about a subject that I end up talking with you guys about just about every year, and that is tick prevention. So I'm currently standing in and walking through some pretty overgrown areas, and I'm not all that concerned right now. And the reason is I have found a very effective two-step process that I've been using for the last year or so, off and on, uh, at times ineffectively, and I'll talk about that. I'll talk about when it can be effective, how it can be effective, and how you can apply it to make sure that you're getting the most protection possible. There are a lot of tick-borne diseases out there that you want to avoid, two particularly bad and prevalent here in the United States. So why don't we get into this and talk a little bit more about what I do to keep myself safe when I'm out in the woods. Let's go. Okay, so how was I able to walk through that high brush and not end up with ticks all over me? I'm in an area where ticks are very prevalent. They're pretty much everywhere. Uh, and actually on the last trip, the Ozark Highlands trip that Rain Man and I went on, several ticks uh, were on the outside of my pants, these pants right here. And I'd see them crawling and then they would fall off. And the way that I was able to do that was using permethrin. So permethrin is a, a concentrated bug killer, it's a pesticide that you can spray onto your clothing to protect yourself from ticks. Uh, extremely effective with ticks. And most people get it from a brand called Sawyer and it's available in this aerosol spray or also in a pump bottle. Uh, you can get it in different sizes from 16 ounces all the way up to a gallon uh, with Sawyer but it is not very cost effective. It's very cost prohibitive actually. And so what I've found is you can get this more concentrated version. The, the Sawyer is in a 0.5%, 0.5% solution. And so it is diluted quite a bit. On Amazon or at an equine store or any other like place where you would go and get pesticides, you can get permethrin in the concentrated version. This is a 36.8, uh, so 36.8 percent solution. And the way that you do this is you have to dilute it in water to get it to about that half percent. Now my solution is just a slight bit above that half percent because what I do is one gallon of water to two ounces of this and so you end up with about a 0.6% solution. So it's a little bit over the 0.5, but if you do all the math, it comes out a little bit over the 0.5. That's okay, and I don't mind a little bit of extra protection. So what are we out here treating today? Well, the way that I mix it up, I mix it up, like I said, one gallon, which I have about a half gallon left right now. Uh, one gallon, two ounces of that mixed up, and I've got it in a Roundup sprayer. And so I use that sprayer, I'll lay out the clothes or whatever gear I'm going to be treating on the ground and then spray it, let it soak. I'll put on some uh, rubber gloves, flip everything over, spray the other side. Now some notes of caution with this. I do not use it on any of my underwear. So my underwear, because it's underneath pants that are treated, I don't treat those. I do treat shoes, socks, pants, shirts, if I'm going to be using a buff or something, I will treat that as well. Just enough to keep everything off of me. But if they get underneath, they should be in contact with the treated pants. So I don't treat the underwear. Just my own personal thing. Some people do, some people don't. Doesn't really make a difference. They say that once it's dry, it's completely non-toxic, not harmful to you whatsoever. I'm just not taking that risk for me. Now. It is harmful to animals, particularly cats, in the wet form. So when it is still damp, when it's still wet, or in the liquid form, if this was to spill, it is extremely toxic to cats. You don't want the cats near it at all. For dogs, they say it's not harmful. 
I would keep it away at least until it's dry, just to be safe. But what I do is I lay it out here on my patio, spray everything down, flip it over, spray it down again, let it soak, let it dry. Uh, after they're soaked, I actually will go over to my fence, hang them over the fence, and let the air, the wind blow and dry them. So I'm gonna get everything set up, laid out, out here. Today I'm gonna be treating several different articles. I've got, next weekend, my son is going out on a trip with me, so I've got his shoes he'll be using, the clothes he'll be wearing, socks, shirt. I've got a hammock that needs to be treated, and I've got my clothing. So I'm gonna lay it all out, get it treated. Once I get it laid out, I'll bring you guys back to show how I apply it. Okay, so I've got my rubber gloves on. I'm gonna pump up this bottle. Okay, now I've got the sprayer and I'm just gonna start sweeping over everything. Just getting it nice and wet. Now I pay particular attention on my hammock to the actual bug net portion. I want the bug net covered because that's where a lot of the bugs are gonna land while I'm laying in there. And this kind of keeps them away a little bit better. So a good wet on there. Come over and get the clothing. A nice good wetting of everything. I get down inside of the shoes a little bit. Good covering on the shoes, over the socks. Good covering of my pants as well. And so I'll just go over them a couple of times just to make sure I've gotten them nice and wet. And then I'll let them sit. Let that soak in for a couple of minutes and then I'll come over using the rubber gloves, flip everything over and get the other side. Now, if you had the Sawyers in the aerosol, you pretty much use it exactly the same way. You just come up and get your clothes, spray them down pretty well, get them wet, but it just takes a little bit more time. The way that I do it, I can get a big load done quite a bit and it's a whole lot more cost effective than using something like this. Okay, so I flipped everything over and I'm gonna go ahead and spray it again. Now, for those who are using a single layer hammock like I do with a 1.1, 1.0, something a little bit thinner, and you're worried about mosquitoes or something biting you from underneath, this is really effective at treating that and keeping the mosquitoes from uh, being a nuisance there. Same way that I treated it, Last time I'm just treating the other side of all of the gear. A nice good wet on everything. Let it soak it in. And then just let it dry. And your stuff should be good for about six weeks, about six washings, somewhere right in that neighborhood. And really it is extremely effective at repelling ticks. Tick prevention is a serious matter. It's something you really wanna do everything you can to keep the ticks away from you. Whether you spend the money and use the convenience of a pre-done product like the Sawyer, or you get the concentrated, a little bit more economical solution with the concentrated 36% and then dilute it yourself, you wanna do something to protect yourself. Now, I mentioned before that I use a two-step process. The second step of that process is Picardin. Picardin comes from many different brands. Sawyer actually does Picardin as well. They do it in both a spray bottle and a lotion. There are other companies out there. I happen to have some Repel right here. And so what I do is when I get up in camp in the morning, I will spray my legs, my feet, before I put my socks on. Let that dry, then pull my socks, which are treated with permethrin, put my shoes on, everything on over the top, but on my skin, I have the Picardin. Now, the Picardin has been shown to be extremely effective on ticks, as effective as DEET. The big difference, a lot of people rely on DEET and the higher percentages of DEET. I did as well for quite a while. DEET is extremely harmful to possibly your, your body, your system. It may get absorbed into the blood system a little bit. I don't know a whole lot about that, but I will say it is harmful to your gear. We spend a lot of money on lightweight, expensive gear, 
and you don't want to ruin it using DEET. DEET melts plastic products, petroleum products, it breaks it down. Picardin is completely safe to use. You could spray it directly on your clothing if you wanted to and you're not going to have any problems. If you are spraying yourself and it oversprays onto a Cuban fiber tarp or tent or any of your other gear, it's not going to melt it the way that DEET will. So Picardin with permethrin. So permethrin treated clothing, Picardin on your skin. That has been the effective treatment that I've found. I have seen the ticks crawl onto my pants and fall off after climbing for just a few seconds. So it is effective. It is a way to stay protected. You do not want any of the tick-borne illnesses that are out there right now. One of my friends, Jason from YouTube, just did a, a very revealing uh, video where he talked about getting one that actually makes him now allergic to red meat. I don't want that. I don't want to have to be worried about what I'm eating, what I'm putting in my body, whether or not it has any red meat related products with it. I have actually in the past three years now uh, acquired Lyme disease. Uh, I got, I had a tick that was on me. I got the bullseye. I was fatigued. I was achy. I went to the doctor, got put on antibiotics, and I have not had any complications. Other people have not been quite as fortunate. If you don't catch the tick soon enough, it's in an area that you don't see it, on your back or on your butt or somewhere that you don't see it, and it's there long enough, you can have very long-term effects from something like Lyme disease. Ticks are not something to play with. Protect yourself. Permethrin, Picardin, get it done. Get yourself out there on the trail. You can see my stuff's back here drying. Once it's dry, I'll take it inside. It'll be safe to be around the animals, and I will be protected the next time I go out on the trail, as will my son. I will see you guys down the trail.